what's up guys welcome to gentry and sons here on youtube so on today's video we're going to talk about the cpc crisis so a good friend of mine over here in linden tennessee which is where i'm at today i'm over here actually dropping off a motor so this is a 12.7 bk block detroit this is before the dd15 which is something we'll be talking about in today's video this is your older, you know, the big, reliable, most awesome motor I feel like has ever been built. It's, uh, you know, it's a kind of a dinosaur motor now, but they are super reliable. And one thing that Lawrence does, and one of the main reasons why I teamed up with this guy years and years ago, is because my Detroit trucks, all my gliders, my Freightliners, my Peterbilts, anything that has a Detroit in it, gets seven to eight miles per gallon. They're really efficient and they can go anywhere and pass a smog test. I could drive my trucks into California, even though they're an old dinosaur motor like that, and still pass emissions. So that's one reason why I like his tuning is because they make awesome power. They make more power than the new motors today. They're just as good on emissions and they get better fuel mileage and they're way, way, way more reliable. So one thing the new trucks that they're having a major problem with like your western star and your cascadia is the cpc computer goes bad in them all right people are literally breaking into trucks in california they're sitting on the sides of the roads sitting in parking lots truck stops all over the place a lot of people's went out of business over it lost their trucks couldn't pay their truck payments and their insurance like i've heard so many crazy horror stories about these cpcs and had no clue that my good friend Lawrence here was coming up with a, a plan to fix all that. And he has. So last time we were here, I made a little short video, nothing crazy, of him in his little office in here. Just one little machine set up, and he was uh, fixing CPCs. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he told me about it. I'm like, what? I've just seen this all over the internet where people are breaking in the trucks and, and stealing them and selling them on eBay for like $12,000. And um he said yeah so i think i've got it figured out how to fix them and at that time he has really had just started so it's been a big learning curve and a big process but his success rate now is like 99 percent so we'll get in there we're gonna go talk to lawrence i'm gonna show you this overnight success story literally it started right here on a little youtube video about me tuning one of my trucks my w900 and turn into this i'm about to go show it to you so we are over here getting the cab over tuned up tonight i'm so excited i want to get some good fuel knowledge out of it at the same time get some good power out of it because right now she's a little weak so guys it all started right here i walked into this office we were working on a tune for my truck and there was a machine here and this is where he was doing it at just him you know to the side doing one you know one a month or something like that one a week and uh Let's go show you what we've got now. Dude, what is this? Like a factory or something going on in here? Something like that. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. All right, this is totally different from the last time I was here. This is insane. So what we got going on here? Well, right now I am programming one that we just completed, uh, putting the parameters and everything back, back in after we backed them up before the repair. Um, and that one got a brand new chip, so we're doing a, a reflash of the chip. So you can do new chips too? Oh, yeah. We're doing new chips, we're doing everything. Yep. Wow, so that's totally different from the last time I was here, huh? Yeah, I don't think I was able to get, I think I'm, I may have had or was waiting on a batch of chips last time you were here. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think yep. you had mentioned something about that. So, guys, the last time I was here, all you seen was a machine like this, and, and that, like I said, in that little bitty room, and like, one of these not like this is a whole shelf full so explain the process from beginning to like from the time they call how they submit their information how they get a hold of you um, um well uh our phone number here is 931-994-6375 and that will ring virginia yeah this is her, for uh virginia tennessee virginia tennessee is that your last name <laughs> in her office in there she's out here working today but she's usually in the office um you'll get a hold of her and she'll help you set everything up we've got a online submission form that you can fill out that gives us all your truck information everything we need to know to keep every unit we get in uh 
straight and know who it belongs to. Um, you can also get to it through our website, uh, SchaeferDiesel.com. But uh, once you fill out that form and mail your unit into us or bring it up here, um, what we do is uh, the first thing that happens is it goes into a chem chemical bath that removes the coating. Um, there's an epoxy coating on both sides of this board when it's manufactured and it has to be removed before you can do any type of repair to it at all. Uh, and that takes overnight. And after that's removed, we bring it back in here. Is that where it goes to the cool machine yeah, over there? It goes over to the cool machine over here. Is that where Virginia's putting the new one on today? Yeah, we're going to be putting this chip on here today. Um, it goes over to the, this machine. This machine will remove the uh, chip. Um, and once it's, it just takes a couple minutes to pull it off. And once, it, once this machine pulls the chip off, then it comes over to where Virginia's working right here. And we do all the prep, um, do the prep the circuit board clean the solder, clean all the epoxy off that gets under the chip. Is that where you do like the beads and all that stuff? Or? Almost. So Virginia's prepping this chip right here to put the, the lead beads on it. Um, and we might get to see her do that in just a second. So this board's been prepped already. The chips are clean and prepped. And uh, she's about to put the, the lead beads on it. Yeah, I want to see this. Um, I've seen Lawrence do it. <laughs> Let's see if Virginia can do it. She's pretty good at it. Yeah, so she put out, like, how many you put out today? Eight? Yeah, we did seven today. Seven? So, guys, that's seven trucks back on the road. That's seven companies that could not be losing their career. I mean, I've heard some crazy horror stories. I mean, just absolutely insane of people losing their companies. And, they're all, you know, I know of uh, one company that had, like, five of these go down. You lose five trucks, especially a Cascadia is a newer truck and a Western Star. That's a high-dollar rig. That's, that's Can you imagine the, that many trucks? Oh my goodness. And I know trucks have been sitting for six, eight months, or even a year. And usually you overnight them here, right? And then. Most of the time we get them out the very next day after they arrive. Uh, we usually tell people a three day turnaround, but we're, we're pretty quick. Yep. So, guys, it did take some time to adjust. And, you know, we, we've not we've had some unhappy people, which you're going to. Yep. But it's, for a while, when we first moved into this room here and got set up, um, I spent an insane amount of money to get a guy here uh, to help train uh, the people I had working in me on the processes of doing this. Because uh, once we got into production, it, you know, it, everything was a lot different than doing one at a time out in, out in my office. Um, so oh, we paid yeah, him a huge amount of money to come up here from Washington and uh, train us. Um, and at that point, we were having quite a bit of trouble. We had uh, about a 50% success rate there for about a month and until I kind of ran into a breakthrough um, that even even the guy that came out here to, to uh, train us and get us set up uh, didn't even realize. And uh, we ran into that breakthrough and had about a 99% success rate after that. Yeah, I've been hearing some really good feedback because so once people reach out to me and ask me about Lawrence and stuff, and I get it all the time, I probably get at least minimum 50 phone calls a day about these cpcs and how to get a hold of lawrence and and that's why i'm here as well to make another video because last time we didn't expect all this like we didn't expect this to blow up like it did and just go crazy and um we literally thought you know we'll, we'll help some people out you know what few people want to send them in and boom it's just like overnight we had penske freightline everybody calling them um so he, he has got a handle on it, and that's why I'm giving out his phone number and his information, and you can call and talk to Virginia. She's really easy to deal with. She's a little shy, but um, um, she's cool to deal with. She'll answer the phone and, and put you in the right direction. And just be respectful. Please, please be respectful. Because um, there is some people that even I've talked to, they're like, you know, and I'm sure it's a stressful situation to have your truck down and be in that situation. But, you know, it ain't our fault. It ain't Lawrence's fault. It ain't nobody's fault. We're just here to try to help. But I had a guy the other day call and just be super, super rude because we wouldn't, I wouldn't just help him get up here and get him fixed right away. I'm like, we'll get a hold of Lawrence and when, you know, he'll schedule you in to get there. And uh, I think that's probably the guy that showed up here yesterday yesterday probably yeah came uh my phones are shut off on the weekend you cannot get a hold of me on the weekend and uh, he came up here on sunday 
and uh, expected me to be here at the shop at 10.30 in the morning, and of course I'm nowhere around, so he, he left, and I think he's coming back. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Guys, he is a very big, I mean, he is super, he runs a full-time shop out here as well, and uh, and this here is just, I mean, it's, I just couldn't imagine how much time. and This this has exploded, and, and one thing that happened, um, I've been using Google Voice for my phone for years, and it fell apart uh, with the amount of phone calls we were receiving for a while, and so I switched over to a, a new digital phone service provider. Uh, which has helped a lot so we're, we're trying to make sure everybody can get through and leave messages and get taken care of as best as we can yeah he is kind of in the middle of nowhere um linden tennessee <laughs> there's no cell service out here <laughs> yeah it's uh like I, when people call me and ask like hey what's his cell number i'm like good luck you're luck you know you hold him a messenger call the office phone yep, call the office and uh which i mean he's got a family and just couldn't imagine y'all want to come in on sunday and work on somebody's CPC. I'm sure you will. Well, we will. If you get a hold of us and prearrange, and it's and you absolutely have to have it, um, we'll come in and at least get the process started to where you can pick it up the following day. Well, that's that's awesome. So we're just here to try to help everybody. You gonna show us the process? Of course. So you want to come on over here? You're gonna put a little bit of flux on here. You want to make sure you don't have too much flux on here, because when you put the solder balls back on top of it and you put it in the oven, they'll just fly everywhere. So you want to make sure that it looks like enough, um, not too shiny, it doesn't look like there's too much. Um, I put it under the microscope here. I'm sure you've done this enough to where you probably know exactly how much to put on there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't show me pretty much. Um, but you want to line this up and make sure that these are all in the right spot. You also want to make sure before you put this on here that there's no solder balls under here or anything. I think me and Lawrence did that one time. Yeah, we, we had fun with that one night. <laughs> you put this back on here. And I use a soft brush to get these all in here. How many do you think goes on there? About 16. Wow. Point zero six millimeter balls. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Dang, you yeah. are good at that. <laughs> we struggled that first night. <laughs> yeah, man. Last time we made the video. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. <clears throat> okay. That is so cool. I, I still am fascinated with it. This one's ready to come out. Oh, yeah, I'm getting serious. Yeah, we've got an oven. Uh, I think last time we were doing it with a heat gun. Yep, he was. Oh, I just messed that up. This is what the chip will look like when it's done and out of the oven. So those are all on there. Perfect. Nice and ready to go. And then when this is done, you can bring it on over here. We'll get ready to put it on the board. That should come on just like that right now. Oh, okay. This is just so cool. like we're having trouble with our video system here. It's not good at all. There it goes. Went to sleep on us. Oh, so, so that adjusts it and everything? Yeah, that adjusts the alignment of the chip. Because if you have it off just a little bit, you end up with shorted connections and cross paths and all kinds of problems. So that's aligning the, the balls on the chip itself with the pads on the circuit board below. Mm -hmm. It looks good to me. Virginia's done this so many times, she's quick. Yeah, she really seems to know what she's doing. It's cool that you like doing it too. 
it. There we go. It'll take about four or five minutes for, for it to uh, reflow the solder onto the board. And then once it comes off of there, she sends it over to my workstation where I plug it in and uh, test it and do any other board level repairs. Um, there are some resistors and diodes and stuff that also come loose because of uh, oxidation between the solder and yeah. the copper pad. So there's other, there are other components on there that do the same thing. And so I'll go over there. I've learned just about every single circuit on these boards. Um, I know what every single chip does. I know where the, you know, what they do in the, in the circuits and functionality in the truck. Uh, so, so you after this is done, it what? goes over there and I will, you know, I plug it in. I got a full uh, harness over there where I can test it and make sure it functions correctly and then go and uh, if needed, every two or three boards, uh, there'll be one that I have to do some other board level repairs on it. So yeah, I'm sure you get them damaged, huh? We get them, well, not necessarily damaged. Um, the CAN bus transceivers, there's four of them on this. There's two on the back and two on the front because there are four different complete CAN bus systems on here. Um, one for the after treatment system, one for the engine, one for the diagnostic, diagnostics in the cab, and one for the shifter in an automatic truck. Um, so a lot of the time, if your truck won't go in gear, uh, it can be the CAN bus trans transceiver between the, the little shift stock on the steering wheel or the engine can which also runs back to the transmission um this board ties together the communication between every single uh control module on, on the truck your abs engine control module after treatment control module transmission control module cab control module dashboard shift, uh, automatic shifter um, all run into this and this ties the communication together between all of them um, and so there's, you know, there's a lot that goes on right here, and any any little problem can shut the truck completely down. Oh yeah, that's crazy. This, that's amazing. That's what controls the truck, though. You know what? It is. It's amazing. It's it's ridiculous. It's it seems crazy to have everything go through with such a faulty little problem <laughs> over a computer like that. Yeah. And and guys, so I've learned a lot from Lawrence over the last few years, and especially here recently, like he showed me a lot to do. Like I actually have a computer now that I can change things around in my own truck, and I was scared to do that before until you know I learned I learned a lot of stuff from him, and he saved my butt. Um, I don't I probably wouldn't even be here today. I wouldn't even have Gentry and Sons Trucking if he didn't come in on a Sunday for me at three o'clock in the morning with it twenty degrees outside, snow and ice on the road. I was down, my truck took a crap, and there was nobody could repair the ECM. And I just so happened to see him on Facebook, and he's like, man, get over here, I'll fix it for you. And he did. How long have you been working here? Me? Yep. Since May, the very beginning of May. You like it? I love it. I love the people I work with, and I love what I do. We love Virginia, too. She's awesome. She puts up with a lot of crap from <laughs> people and, and makes everything work tries to make everybody happy that's hard to do this Keeps business the stress off of me as well oh man that's I, i've got to work and dealing with people uh gets in the way of working <laughs> and it's hard sometimes yep. working with the public is a very 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 hard thing to do i mean it takes one thing to mess you up me and good things that don't that don't matter mm -hmm. it's the one bad thing um you know one unhappy customer so we gotta have virginia here to keep that from happening well, we've probably got about 35 unhappy customers over the last six months, but we're doing our best to keep up with everybody and make sure everybody gets what we promised. Well, at least you talk about that, you know, it's, and that's what I, another thing I like about you. Anytime we've had issues with my truck, you went out of your way to make sure it got fixed. And right. uh, you kept me on the road all these years. So we, we had a rough two months. I'll tell you that we, we had a really rough two months until I came, until I, which we kind of figured, yeah, there. we kind of figured that was going to happen. You said yeah. it from the beginning, you know, I, I'm not good at this yet. Like, it's, it's still a learning process. It's, yep. Um, well, we've got it now where I don't know if we've had one come in in the last three months that we have not been able to repair, you know, within two or three days. That's awesome. And guys. So that's why I'm saying 99% success rate. So that's good. 99%. And I would, I would not be here putting my name on it if I didn't believe in Lawrence. I promise you. 
because I've had people call me and they're like, what do you think? Because there's a lot of fly by night. You'll see on the internet, you know, people saying that they can fix CPCs and send it to them and blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. Send it to Lawrence. He's legit. He's not trying to get your CPC. And a lot of them places, you'll never see it again. You might not ever see it again. You definitely won't get it fixed. Or they might say they fixed it, send it back. And, you know, they're not going to warranty it or guarantee it. And you're going to spend $2,500, $3,000 or more. Nine times out of ten, more. And uh, Or you could just get a stock replacement that's going to do the same thing. So Yeah, that's one, one thing. Uh, the stock replacements, the new CPCs that are slowly coming out and becoming available, um, are built just like the originals with lead free solder on a production line that does not use an inert gas during the reflow process and so when you when you use lead free solder um, it has to be done on a line that uses inert gas so you don't get oxidation on the pads these units are built with this problem from the very get-go from the moment they come out of the factory the oxidation has started because of their process and so you have a two or three year lifespan on most of them before it, the oxidation reaches a critical level uh, under the chip, main chip usually, and you lose connection on, the, on a critical electrical connection and it shuts you down. So we're doing a lead solder and we're using an active flux that uh, well, actually, maintain and hold. That ain't me I'm calling. Actually, no, that's not you calling. That's my wife calling. Um, <laughs> Usually it is me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're using active flux that actually actively attacks the uh, oxidation and prevents it from happening. So these should have a 10 to 20 year lifespan, uh, and it shouldn't be the, the solder that fails after we've reworked them. That's awesome. Well, man, congratulations on a shelf full of <laughs> computers and well, thank, our CPs. Well, man, I tell you what, you deserve every bit of it. And you've helped me out many times. I hope you become a billionaire over it, honestly. I really, that would be so awesome to see. Maybe you take me out on a boat sometime or something when you get a <laughs> twin turbo, big, awesome diesel yacht or something. I just enjoy this. I've, I've always enjoyed this type of work. And enjoy you're good at it. things work again. So we've been out in the shop all day today working on old Detroit. And, and I know he enjoys that way more than being in here, but... This helps people out, and it's, you know, I think this is, it's, this could turn into a big thing. It has. It, already, it really already has. Thing. I mean, yep. I mean, we might come up here next time, and they'd be a warehouse full of 100 Virginias. Well, we, <laughs> we know this won't last forever. Eventually, uh, Freightliner will have these available again. I have no idea when. The chips are still not being manufactured. Um, and they're still making the same boards. That so they, yeah, and, but eventually this, and hopefully, I hope that this, you know, I would love for this to end next week and Freightliner dealers have 40 of these in stock for everybody uh, at every, every dealer, but that's not happening. And uh, as, long as, it, as long as it's here for me to do, I'll do my best to, to help make out. sure everybody can get their trucks back on the road. Well, that is, that's awesome. I think that's a good, that's, that's a good finish off to our video. So, guys, don't forget, hit up Virginia. Um, you know, what's the phone number again? 931-994-6375, extension 2. Extension 2. And be respectful, because she is tender. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's probably, probably vicious. She's pretty mean. She's pretty mean. <laughs> don't mess with her, guys. <laughs> so, I'm scared of her. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to finish off today's video. And guys, we got another video coming out for you because we are going to tune the cab over. And hopefully we're going to tune the cab over and make some serious power of that thing. And also we'll be doing another video up here when the pistons come in for the new Detroit. Um, that is a whole different scenario. I that's, mean, it's, that's, that's just as cool be, as this. I don't know. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a speed of air dealer. Uh, Speed of Air is a really awesome company that has kind of revolutionized pistons. Um, they're putting dimples in the top of the piston to create vortexes uh, as the piston moves away from the cylinder head and those vortexes uh, create... It's like a hundred tornadoes or a something. A hundred little tornadoes inside yeah. the cylinder mi uh, mixing your fuel and air mixture and they're getting extreme 
extremely good results out of that. Dino tested, uh, they're actually supplying OEMs like CAT and stuff on some of their big uh, 70 plus liter engines and able to extend oil life drastically because they cut down the particulate matter, the soot, by like 80%. So I've become a dealer. I'm gonna keep a set of pistons in stock here for both the 12.7 and the 14 liter Detroits. Um, and we're gonna do one for Timmy and I'm sure we'll video that and put that yeah. out there for you guys too. Yeah, we'll be blown by those cats all up and getting 10 miles a gallon. 20, yeah, and the uh, Speed of Air actually has a couple customers running 12.7s with their pistons and they went from high sixes to averaging 10 miles a gallon all day long. So that's just absolutely amazing. Oh, it is. I'm... I put a couple motors together, uh, smaller pickup truck diesels with them, uh, but we're just, we're just starting on the 12.7s and 14s. But we'll be their first one. We'll be the first customer. And uh, just with his tuning alone, my trucks get ridiculous good fuel mileage. I can't imagine. And power. Like I have, you know, our trucks, no slouches. They're reliable. I can't even imagine what this is going to do for Maybe them. Maybe we can push 11 miles a gallon with tuning and pistons. Oh, dude, <laughs> that, that would be, be that would be amazing. And that, the only thing I worry about is, I mean, we're showing that the bull crap that the, that's on these trucks is not needed. I mean, that's exactly what we're doing. That's the only thing that worries me, is because we don't need that crap. These pistons reduce your emissions, your particulate matter, and your uh, NOx emissions by right around 80% for both of those. And that's just un that's just unbelievable. It's it's awesome. And it, the proof is there. There's videos. There's, yep. And we're going to prove it. We're going to show you. Full dyno tests on emissions dynos. And uh, it's... You guys ought to look up Speed of Air. Go to their Facebook page. Check them out. They've got videos. They've got dyno sheets. They've got everything there. It's just awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to try them out myself. And uh, guys, but that'll be a that'll be another video. So we are we got the motor up here. He's going to get started on getting it cleaned up, took apart, getting the the block worked and all that stuff. And then once we get it together, we're going to put it in the truck. He'll also do the tuning on it and uh and then we'll start making you know showing you the difference in fuel mileage because uh, i got two of the same trucks one will have just regular it'll have his tune in it but only one of them's going to have the pistons one of them's going to be stock and they're both fresh engines so um that's going to finish off today's video guys we love y'all thanks for watching and check these guys out because they're awesome